Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to Cedar Creek Community Church for our midweek worship experience. Amen. Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm glad you have tuned in tonight, that you have took time out of your busy schedule to tune in and watch this. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me one favor and share this broadcast with somebody? Can you do me one big favor and share this broadcast with somebody? Just by hitting a little button in the corner of your live work, that the live that you're watching right now where it says share, you can share this broadcast with somebody and let them know that Cedar Creek is on and we're about to have worship. Hallelujah. This, this midweek worship service will give us that extra fuel that can make us get over the hump, that make us can get through the rest of the week. We thank God that he is with us tonight. This is the day that the Lord has made. Even though it's kind of stormy and the weather is kind of crazy, it's been crazy the last few days, you never know if it's going to be rainy, you never know if it's going to be sunny, if you don't know if it's going to be hot. Uh, we do know pollen's going to be out there. If the rain comes, pollen's still going to come back. So we thank God that we are still alive in the midst of all of that. Cedar Creek, I love you so much. I thank you for joining us tonight. And I pray that you have shared this with somebody, especially if you're a member. It's your responsibility to share. This is part of our evangelism. So go ahead, members. Share this right now. Text somebody. Tag somebody. Let them know that we're about to go into worship. Amen. I'm going to go into prayer, and I'm going to sing a song. We're going to get right into this word as we continue to study in this book. Amen. As we continue to study in this book. So let us pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on and give God glory. Hallelujah. Come on and get your mind focused on God. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. We praise your name, God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you grace. Hallelujah. We thank you for the grace, hallelujah, that you have given to us. Your grace and your mercy has truly brought us through, God. We thank you tonight for all that you have done for us, God. We thank you for another opportunity just to be in your presence. We thank you for another opportunity to jump in your word. We thank you for another opportunity to worship you. We thank you for another chance to praise your name, God. You've been good to us, God. We acknowledge that you are Savior. We acknowledge that you are our King. We acknowledge that you are our Lord. God, most of all, we thank you for being an awesome God. Hallelujah. Awesome in all of your ways, God. We praise you tonight, and we give you glory, God. So we thank you for Jesus Christ as we this holy week. Hallelujah. As we go through this holy week, God, the last week that we observe of the life of Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything that he has done. It's because of him that we are still here. Glory. So we praise his name. Hallelujah. We praise the name of Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. He's our rock. He's our savior. And we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him and his sacrifice, how he died on Calvary and he shed his blood. So God, thank you for his blood. That blood tonight washes us clean of all of our sins. So we confess our sins to you, God, because we know that you are faithful and just to forgive us of them all and cleanse us with the blood and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So God, we ask that you have your way right now. Move in this, this midweek worship. We ask that you just speak Holy Spirit. Speak Holy Spirit right now. God, let the Bible study be enriching, God. Let this study be enriching, God. Let us hear something tonight that will change our mind, that will change our focus, that will put us in a place where we can praise you better, that we can worship you deeper. We thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you for another opportunity. God, bless Cedar Creek Community Church, all the members, all every family that's connected, those who are watching, God. I pray that this is a blessed worship experience for them. Do it for them right now, God. Whatever they need, do it for them right now, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you today. We love you and we praise you. And it's in Jesus' name that we do pray. It is so as well, and it's already done. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, give him glory. Hallelujah. Come on, give him glory. How many know we serve an awesome God? Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Come on, if you know we serve an awesome God, come on and give an awesome God an awesome praise. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, if you know we serve an awesome God, come on and give your awesome God an awesome praise. Hallelujah. He's awesome, and we serve him, and God, we thank you for being awesome in our lives. Come on, you guys know this song. It says, our God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley, and he can hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. He gives me strength where I've been weakened. And guess what, y'all? Forever he will reign. Hallelujah. Come on and say, my God. 
He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Oh, my God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. And forever he will reign. Come on, everybody, lift your voice and say, Oh, he's awesome. We lift our voice and shout, Awesome. Oh, he's awesome. Come on, somebody, say, Awesome. We serve an awesome God, yes. We serve a mighty God, yes. Oh, awesome. My God is awesome. He's the savior of the whole world. He's the giver of salvation. And I don't know about you, but by his stripes I am healed. By his stripes I am healed, my God. Today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living. So guess what? I got to praise his holy name. I got to praise his holy name. My God is. Lift your voice and say awesome. Oh, he's awesome. Yes, he is. We serve an awesome God. Yeah, yeah. My God. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. Say awesome. Everybody say awesome. Oh, he's holy. He's holy. The God we serve is holy. We serve a holy God. He's awesome. Lift your voice and say awesome. Yeah. He's great. Anybody know he's great? God is great and greatly to be praised. Awesome. We serve an awesome God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deliverer. 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 Say awesome. Lift your voice and say awesome. So glory to God. Provider. He's my provider. Everything I need. The Lord has provided for me. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. Protector. Has he looked out for you? Has he protected you? In the midst of the storm, he's your protector. Come on, give God an awesome praise right now. My God. He can move. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Oh, my God. He heals me when I'm broken. Yes, God. He gives me strength when I've been weakened. Hey, praise his holy name. Hallelujah. That's what we've come to do tonight. We've come to praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've come to praise his holy name. Come on. Come on. Give him praise. Come on. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. And so that's why we have come tonight to continue to learn about praise. We have come to continue to learn how we can send him up a praise. Glory to God. How we can send him up a, 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 a hallelujah, a thank you, Jesus. How we can give him our heart, give him our life, and by our faith, we can praise God. I pray that you have been enjoying this teaching that we have been dealing with over these past few weeks and the sermons that I have been preaching about these particular topics. God is truly awesome. And because he is awesome, we give him praise. Glory to God. Come on. So let's take a few minutes right now and give our awesome God an awesome praise. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give him glory. Come on. Give him glory. Give our awesome God an awesome praise. Glory to God. We are continuing our study 
on the purpose and power of praise and worship. The purpose and power of praise and worship. And this book, again, is by Bishop Miles Monroe, and it's called Rediscovering Kingdom Worship. It's helping the saints, and I believe it has been helping us, and I can even see it in our worship experiences, how to increase and, and, and find the purpose and then realize the power of praise and worship. Okay, so as we continue our study, so go ahead if you haven't, I've already asked you before at the beginning, if you can go ahead and share this broadcast with somebody, let them know somebody that might need to get a little bit more praise in their life or somebody that might need a little bit more encouragement. I ask you to go ahead and share that with them. There's that little button at the bottom of your screen, at the bottom of this live video, that says share. And you can either start a watch party, um, you can share it with somebody, you can copy the link and email it or text it to somebody, and just let them know that we are in worship. Hallelujah. We are in the Word, and we are in worship. This is our midweek worship experience, and we want everybody that can join in to join in because we're about to get in this Word of God. Hallelujah. We are about to get in this Word. Glory to God. I thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I thank you, Jesus, for the word. I thank him for an opportunity to be in his word. Hallelujah. I thank you for the ability to read. Thank you that I can read the word and the ability to talk, that I can talk and tell and preach and teach this holy word. Hallelujah. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't. Hallelujah. I said I wasn't going to tell nobody, but I couldn't keep it to myself. What the Lord has done for me. Somebody give God glory right now. Hallelujah. So I, 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 I based scripture tonight as we are studying in this book is a very familiar one. It's one of my life scriptures. It is Psalms 34. It is Psalms 34. It says, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I will boast only in the Lord and let all who are helpless take heart. Come let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. Amen. Amen. That's the New Living Translation. And let me read it from the King James Version. Amen. Glory to God. Let me give you the NIV, then I'll give you the King James. NIV says, I will extol the Lord at all times. And this is Psalms 34 again. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praises will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. All right? So then I'm going to do the King James, and then we're going to go into this study. Amen? Glory to God. And this is the one I can, I can recite this from um, a member. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast unto the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. And this is David writing this text. And so as we are, with last week we talked about, amen, we're talking about the principles of praise, amen, and, and, or the definitions of praise. We talked about commending him. We talked about expressing approval, amen, and we also talked about glorifying God through our praise. So tonight we're going to talk about the characteristics of praise, some of the things that uh, um, describes praise and some of the things that when people hear the word praise, they should think of these things. Amen. So the first thing it talks about, and and our, and the scripture that I, I this base text that I use, Psalm thirty four, kind of in these those first those first three verses, kind of describe. Amen. What they're talking about. So the first thing he says, Bishop Memoro in this book, he says about the characteristics of praise. He says praise puts God in first place. Let me say that one more time. Praise puts God in first place. Come on, come on. Get that in your mind. Get that in your mind. Praise, your praise puts God in first place. Let me read the description. It says, praise is always turning our attention from ourselves to God. It's remembering and recounting who he is and what he has done instead of wallowing in our mire of self-absorption. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Therefore, we are incredibly self-centered people. All right, ouch. Just say ouch. Don't say nothing. All right. Are we <laughs> our first thought is always how something or someone is affecting us. Praise turns our eyes from ourselves to God. 
It focuses our thoughts on his majesty and power and invites others to do the same. Instead of gazing at our own navel, we raise our eyes and heart to see his face and to affirm again our awe of him, our gratitude for his love and mercy, our absolute dependence on him. In essence, praise is bragging, glory to God, about God instead of about ourselves or the idols of this world. It's celebrating who he is and how he relates to his people. Many Christians and congregations rarely do this. We are so self-focused that we treat praise and worship as preliminaries that we have to get through to get to the important stuff. Let me stop right there. That, that, you, not this church, because your pastor, I, I, I am, still am a praise and worship leader before God called me to preach. And I still lead praise and worship. Hallelujah. And so that's not something that we're going to rush through. In this church, glory to God, we will praise God. Hallelujah. In this church, we will worship God. Hallelujah. Because that's what he has called us to do. That's what we have been created to do. And it's in our heart to do that. Because like David, we will bless the Lord at all times and a praise will be in our mouths. Glory to God. It says we, we, we want to rush through it to get to the important stuff that we think is just the teaching and the personal ministry that makes us feel good. Sadly, we all too often treat our expressions of admiration toward God as though he is of secondary importance. I'm sure God is not pleased with this behavior. Indeed, there's no reason to have a meeting, glory to God, if praise and worship are not the central focus of our time together. We may call our collection of tradition, habits, and activities worship, but we have no hope of worshiping God if we are not willing to give him, first give him the praise that he is due. Let me read that one more time. We may call our collection of tradition, uh -huh, we, some of us, we are deeply rooted in traditions, uh huh. Our habits and our activities, a lot of the stuff that we call church, a lot of the stuff we call worship. But he teaches us in the book and in the power through the word of God that we have no hope of actually worshiping God if we are not willing to first give him the praise that is due him. He deserves our praise, so we should start off with praise and worship. That's why it's at the beginning of service. It's not just how somebody wanted to put it in the um on the program. That's you know, with even with the devotional service that the old church used to have before we started this praise and worship thing. We needed to start before the preacher got up. Somebody needed to set their atmosphere. Somebody needed to welcome God in. Somebody needed to set the house in order and let the people know and everybody around and anybody in that place that this service, this meeting, this conference, this 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 study or this Bible study or whatever it is, it's about God. So that's why David started this out. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. I don't know what you thought you was coming to do, but in this place, glory to God, in this service, in this meeting, we have come to bless the Lord. So I don't know about you for, so it, so, so for the rest of your life, so let this be a change uh, moment. Let this be a, 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 um, a, play, a turning point in your life where you no longer have meetings, where you no longer have services, where you no longer get in places where it's supposed to be worship and worship don't start it off. Hallelujah. Well, a place where praise is supposed to be a praise and worship service, but there is no praise. We've got to make sure that God is first in everything. Thing we do. Turn our attention away from ourselves. I know you look good. I know you sound good. I know you think it's all about you, but I'm coming to tell you tonight, it's not about you. It's all about God. David told us in this text right here, he said, who we blessing? The Lord. We ain't come to bless the pastor. We ain't come to bless the preacher. We ain't come to bless the deacons. We ain't come to bless the choir. We ain't come to bless the members. We ain't come to bless anybody that's still alive in flesh on this earth. We've come to bless the risen Savior. Glory to God. We've come to bless Jesus. We've come to bless the King of Kings. We've blessed, come to bless the creator of everything. We've got to bless the Lord. He is first in our lives. Glory to God. He is first in our life. Don't get too self-centered. Don't get too absorbed in yourself where you can't put God first. We got to put him back on top, church. 
We got to make sure that Jesus is the focus of everything we do. And when we praise God, we show him. We show him that we acknowledge that he is Savior. Glory to God. We acknowledge that he is in control. If we start off with him, he knows, okay, they're thinking about me. If we start off with him, he knows, oh, okay, uh, they, they want me somewhere in the midst. Because we know where the presence of the Lord is. Glory to God. There is liberty. And if he inhabits the praises of his people, we need to make sure that we praise him in the midst of what we are dealing with so that he comes down and we feel his presence and we get his liberty. Praise gives us freedom. I, that's even not even right on the text. That's not even what I'm supposed to be talking about tonight. But if we put him first, we can be free. Hallelujah. You ever been in a place where it just feel like bondage? You ever feel been in a place in a meeting, even in the church house, and just been so much foolishness and stuff? Next time, start that thing off with praise. Next time, start that thing off with worship. But even if the, the hell starts, the foolishness starts, start right then and say, oh, we got to fix this. We didn't start off right. Well, let's put a praise right here. Let's put some worship right here. Let's put the focus back on God and not on us. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. So my focus, what I'm saying, what I'm thinking, because most of the time what you say in your mouth has to be in your mind first. Glory to God. Hallelujah. People say, well, I, I didn't think before I said the devil is a lie. You did think because your, you not, your mouth can't work without your mind. You better come on somebody. Hallelujah. Your mouth can't work without your mind. You might not have thought, you, after you thought about it after you said it, and you might not have wanted to say it, but I'm here to tell you, you can't talk without your mind. That's when people lose their mind. They say crazy stuff because their crazy mind is making them say crazy stuff. But we got to get a holy mind. Hallelujah. We got to get a praise mind and a worship mind so we can speak holy, so we can uh, we can praise and worship can come and continuously be in our mouth. So in order to, 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 to speak holy, in order to speak praise, and only to speak worship, we got to have it in our mind first. And so in order to be, that's why the Bible says all this stuff go together. Let this mind also be in me that's also in Christ Jesus. We, uh, Paul tells us to be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. He knew that the mind first needs to be on Jesus. Glory to God. So that's what praise and worship helps us put our focus and our mind on him. I just want to take some time, God, to focus on you and let you know that it's all about you. I just want to reassure you, God, that it's all about you. I just want to reassure you, God, that you are my Savior. I just want to reassure you, God, that you are my Lord. I just want to reassure you, God, that that you are my king. I will bless you at all times because I don't have anybody else to bless. Because I'm praising you all the time because, God, I, got, I don't have anybody else to praise. Nobody is worthy of your praise. Nobody is worthy of your glory. Nobody is worthy of your honor. You've got to realize who God is. And when you truly realize who he is, you can't help but to give him glory. Yes, 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 yes. I said when you truly realize it, you can't realize without a mind. So once you get your mind focused on who he is, you can't help but to give him glory. And a little cliche people got, when I think, I have to think. So when I T-H-I-N-K, I have to T-H-A-N-K. You can't think on the goodness of Jesus and not thank him. Glory to God. We've got to make sure we put God in first place. He's the winner. Hallelujah. He's at the top of the program, hallelujah. He's the presider, hallelujah. He, he's the main event. He, 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 he's the marquee. He's the first, he's, he, he's got top bill in this production. It's all about him. He said, I'm, he said, I'm looking for someone who's going to worship me in spirit and in truth. He told us, worship me. God is searching for someone who's going to worship him in spirit and Add into it and say worship anybody else. It said worship him. The time is coming. The time is now when the true worshipers, are you a true worshiper? Glory to God. The time is now for you true worshipers. Come on, true worshipers. It's time to rise up. True praises. It's time to rise up. The time is now 
Let me make, get the scripture so I can read the whole time, the whole thing. True worshipers to worship you in spirit and in truth. Glory to God. The time is now. Hallelujah. Because Jesus, at this particular time, he was talking to the Samaritan woman. And, it, and, 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 and they're still talking about putting them first. He, she was talking about all these different places where they're supposed to worship. Jesus told her, you worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know. <laughs> Glory to God. I don't know about you, but what I do know is I know who he is. Yes, I do. Glory to God. Yes, I do. I know who he is. Do you know who he is? Like I told you, once you get your mind focused and once you really, truly realize who he is, you have no other choice but to worship him. For salvation is from the Jews. But this, but it's verse 23, this is John 4, verse 23. It says, but a time is coming and has now come. This is now time to put him first. When true worshipers will worship the Father, that's your moment. In spirit and truth, for the Father is seeking. He's looking for us. He's looking for somebody that's going to put him first. <laughs> Glory to God. I said he's looking for somebody that's going to put him first. So my question tonight before I go any further, are you going to put God first? Are you going to put him first in your life? Are you going to make room for God? Are you going to put God first in your life? He's looking for somebody who's going to put him first. Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Are you going to put God first? He's looking for somebody who's going to worship him. God is looking for you, baby. God is looking for you tonight. God is looking for you in this moment because he wants somebody that's going to worship him for real. He, will, he wants somebody that's going to worship him. He wants somebody that's going to praise him. He wants somebody that's focused on him. He wants somebody that got him on his mind right now. I'm thinking about the goodness of Jesus. I'm thinking about what he has done for me. I'm thinking about how wonderful he is. I'm worshiping him because he is God. Put him first in your life. So that's the first thing. That's the first characteristic that Bishop Miles Monroe talks, teaches us in this book. Praise puts God in first place. He also says praise flows from our friendship with God. Praise flows from our friendship with God. He's called us friends. Hallelujah. He calls me friend. Hallelujah. We are, we are friends of God. Hallelujah. Excuse me. Hallelujah. Because John 15 and 15, I want to get the correct verse. I knew the verse. I just want to make sure I recite it to you and give you the correct verse so you can go back and study it. He, he, he says, no longer, this is Jesus talking, he says, John 15 and 15, no longer do I call you servant, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. <clears throat> for all that have, I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. And he also, in the, and you go a couple verses above it, uh, he says, greater love has no one than this, than someone to lay down his life for his friend. And don't you know Jesus was prophesying and, and foretelling, telling them exactly what's going to happen. I love you so much. I consider you friends that I'm going to lay down my life for you. He laid down his life for each and every one of us. He calls us friends. So therefore, our praise has to come from our friendship. Our relationship with God. See, I think I, I I I don't believe we realize such the the the, the different facets of the different parts of our uh, uh, the different pieces of our relationship with God. He's our Savior. He's our Father. He He's our Redeemer. But He's also our friend. Glory to God. He shows us. He 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 He's a friend. He says, praise flows from our friendship with God. People who praise God on a regular basis do so because they have found the Lord to be so altogether lovely that they can't stop thinking of him and talking of him. 
They have gotten close enough to him to see his true nature and character. And they have found him more than everything they have ever hoped for. You see, you can't brag about someone you don't know. <laughs> or at least your bragging cannot be truthful and sincere. Therefore, although praise may start with what, you, with, with, with what you know about God, it must eventually progress to what you have experienced about him for yourself. This is where praise becomes more than a chore or a duty. You don't have to work up your praise because it automatically bubbles up from within you. Your relationship with God has confirmed for you that you are blessed at all times. He is your joy. Come on, somebody. He is your strength. He is your comfort. He is your peace. And on and on. Your life is anchored in him. And his goodness to you brings his name to your thoughts and your lips repeatedly. So that's why David said, hallelujah, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. The goodness, the goodness of the Lord and how David experienced him for himself, his name, glory to God, hallelujah, in his name and his power is continuously in his mouth because he had known God for himself. He has a personal relationship. He can bless the Lord at all times because he got something to bless him for. He got a, he got a, he got a memory. He can recount of just what God has done in his life. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Like that, 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 that goes back to I, I put it first because it's remembering and recounting of just what he has done. Because the things that he does, that, that, that stuff that we do for our friends, he, he takes care of us. He shows us compassion. He looks out for us. He's there when we need him. And so, therefore, we, can, we praise him at all times because we can't help but to boast and brag on the God that we serve. It says, in other words, Praise that flows from a deep relationship with God is genuine and true. When you have a genuine friend and a true friend, you don't mind telling people about it. Because that person makes you feel loved. That person makes you feel cared for. So you want to be, because first of all, you got to be free, show yourself friendly in order to have a friend. But we thank God that once we give our lives to him, he automatically shows himself friendly towards us. Like the song says, there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus, no, not one. And so it says, your words and acts of adoration arise naturally from your heart. When somebody asks you about a good friend, you don't have to be like, um, um, you want me to tell you something good about my friend? Are you, um, let me think. You don't have to say that. So when somebody asks you, tell me something good about your Jesus, I can say he woke me up this morning. He started me on my way. When I was in a mess, he delivered me. When I was out there in the world uh, uh, doing all kind of crazy stuff, when I should have been dead, I should have been crazy. I should have been strung out on drugs. I, I should have been homeless. I should have been um, somewhere doing something I hadn't. God kept me. That's what I, he loves me so much. Hallelujah. He gives me compassion. He dries my tears. When I'm down, he lifts me up. See, I don't have to, to think and ponder. It rolls off of my lips. Glory to God. I, I, it flows out of my lips because it's coming from my heart because I have a relationship with him. Work on your relationship with God and your praise will flow. Hallelujah. That's what sometimes as a praise and worship leader, we say, praise the Lord, everybody. We don't hear nothing. That's what I'm thinking. Like, they must have no relationship with God. Because when you say praise the Lord, you should automatically somebody should say, hallelujah. Let everything that happened glory to God. He's been good. To hallelujah. You ought to begin just to begin to testify. You don't even have to say those certain praise words. You can just begin to say exactly what God has done in your life because you got a relationship with him. And you are looking for an opportunity to tell somebody just how good he is. It says, when your relationship with God is deep and lasting, praise comes no matter what you are experiencing. Glory to God. Because how you feel does not change who God is in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How you feel, and I always try to tell this to people and teach this whenever I do a workshop or, or leading a praise and worship or working with a choir or worship team. How you feel 
has nothing to do with who God is. Hallelujah. You need to get out your emotions. You need to get out of that. That has nothing to do with God. Your situation in your mind might seem bad, but I come to tell you tonight that God is good. That's why the Bible said the Lord is good. That's a progressive verb. That is a progress. That means it's continuing. Hallelujah. He's going to always be good. Even if what you're going through is bad, God is still good. I'm going to say that one more time. Regardless of how you feel, you may be sick, but God is still good. I Even in my midst of bereaving and, and, and grieving, God is still good. You've got to get that in your mind. That will help you be. You're talking about like the, we just watched the, um, the Aretha Franklin um, tribute that they had in the movie called Genius on National Geographic. She got, had a, a, one of her, my favorite songs that she sang, Like a Bridge Over Troubled Water. That, when you, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. When, when you realize just how good God is, that's your bridge over troubled waters, glory to God. God is your bridge. He will bring you from one side over to the other side. That's how you made it over. Another, uh, Mahalia Jackson got the soul look song, says, I, my soul looks back and wonder how I made it over. And, and, and I, 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 I had that revelation when I was singing it one day. It's a nice song and I realized that, but my soul does not look back and wonder. My soul looks back, and when I look back at what I came through, I know how I got over. Glory to God. It was God. Hallelujah. The song we just sung this past Sunday that, that, um, that um, Jamie sung, through it all, I've been through. Lord, it was you pulling me through. Through it all, I've been through. Lord, it was you pulling me through. I, I don't have to wonder. When you got a relationship, you don't have to wonder. Yes, glory to God. When you don't have to, when you when you know who you serve, when you know who your friend is, when you know who your father is, you don't have to wonder how your way is going to be made. You don't have to wonder who's going to provide for you. You don't have to wonder who's going to heal you. You don't have to wonder who's going to deliver you. What you only thing you are wondering is when. When it, 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 as Christians. We, are, we, don't, we, are, we don't deal in the who because we already know who. We already know it's God. What we deal is when. God, I, 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 I know you're going to heal me, but I, I'm just waiting on the wind. I know I'm going to be delivered. I'm just waiting on the wind. I know I'm coming out of this. I'm just waiting on the wind because I know, glory to God, that you are the one that's going to do it. Because of my relationship, I trust you. And so that's how I can praise you in the midst of it because I know that I'm coming out. It's not who. It's when, hallelujah, I'm just waiting on the manifestation of what you have promised in my life. So that's why I can praise you because my relationship lets me know that you will never let me down. Praise puts God in first place. Praise flows from our friendship with God. And praise is a conscious choice. You in your right mind. It says praise is an act of your will. When you offer God true praise, you make a conscious decision to commend, approve, and glorify him. Those definitions of praise that we talked about last week. Praise, therefore, is not based on your emotions or your feelings. Ha, glory to God. You don't have to feel great. You don't even have to feel good to praise the Lord. Despite the many things in your life that may seem to be wrong, praise is your conscious choice. Because you know that God is the answer to your problems. As long as he's in charge, things will get better. Glory to God. As Ricky Dillard got a song, as long as you're in control, I know things will work out for me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He says, as long as God is in control, as long as he's in charge, things will get better. Your intimate fellowship with him makes this difference you can focus on. What is right, God and his goodness to you, no matter else what is wrong. You can focus on what is right, the goodness of God, and not focus on what is wrong. Focus on what is right, God, hallelujah, and not focus on your problems. Put your attention back on him. 
and realize that God is greater, God is stronger, God is bigger than anything that you go through in your life. That's why David says, I will. David made a conscious choice to praise the Lord. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be blessed. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. David is saying, I'm willing myself. I'm making the choice to bless him at all times. And I'm making the choice that his praise will be in my mouth. And my soul don't have a choice in the matter. It will bless him and make his boast. Glory to God. And he also goes on, uh, he said, this is quite evident in Psalms 42, where the psalmist laments, cries out, or prays that his life is not like it once was when he went to the house of the Lord with great joy. His body hurts. Tears are his lot now instead of music and laughter. God. He even fears that God has forgotten him so long has it been since he felt God's presence. Anybody been like that? Your body hurts. Tears have taken the place of music and laughter in your life. You fear that God has forgotten about you. And you feel like it's been a long time since you've been in the presence of God. Yet, David, this hurting, despairing man makes a conscious choice. He exercises his will and chooses to remember God and his goodness. Notwithstanding his misery and his sorrow, the psalmist gives himself a lecture. So, this is Psalms 42. Why are you so upset? Why are you soaking and fretting as though you have no hope? Don't give up. I've come to encourage somebody. Speak to yourself and say, don't give up. Put your hope in God. He has not given up even if you have. So stop dwelling on everything that's wrong and start thinking about all that's right. Remember the friendship we've enjoyed with God. Recall his many acts of kindness to us. The difficult place we're in right now isn't the end of the story. I'm still going to praise him, my Savior and my God. Perhaps you are carrying a heavy load right now. You're going through some of the toughest, the trying, the most tryingest times in your life. I mean, it's bad. It's real bad. But don't let your troubles keep you from praising God. I know that you feel like what you're facing right now is about to take you out. But don't let it stop you, glory to God, from praising God. Don't feel like you'll never change. Don't feel like it will never change. This is the right time. It says this is precisely the time, dear friend, that God asks us to praise him. He knows that we are hurting. He also knows that the things won't always be the way that they are now. In fact, he's waiting to act on our behalf. But he needs for us to provide a dwelling place for him, an altar in your life, where he can show up. And I, like I told you already, we've talked about this probably the first week. Praise is your altar. Praise is the place where God can show up. Hallelujah. So you've got to make a choice. Hallelujah. I know you're feeling bad, but you got to say, I'm going to praise him today. Hallelujah. I, I, I know you're struggling, but you got to say, I'm going to praise him today. I, I know you're going through, but you got to say, I'm going to praise him today. I, I know you don't feel like doing this. I know you don't feel like being here. I know you don't feel like saying nothing. I know you don't feel like going nowhere, but you got to make the choice that I will praise him today. I will glorify him today. I will bless him today. You got to say, hands, you going to clap today. Feet, you going to dance today. Mouth, you going to open today. Hands, you going to wave today. Body, you going to move today. Soul, you going to cry out today. Make yourself praise God. Make yourself give God glory. I, don't, I, you, I know you don't feel like it, but baby, you better praise him until you feel like it. Hallelujah. Praise will change your situation, but you just got to praise him. Praise will change how, to, how you feel. You just have to praise him. So make a choice. 
to praise the Lord. So the characteristics of praise. Praise puts God first. Yes, it does. Praise flows from our friendship with God. And praise is a conscious choice. Put him first in your life today. Work on your relationship and your friendship with him. And make a choice to give him praise. Make a choice today. Will you praise him? Will you praise him? Will you praise him? David said, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praise. I will boast only, I will brag only on the Lord. And let all who are helpless take heart. Come let us tell of the Lord's greatness and let us exalt his name together. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. So I'm asking, oh, magnify the Lord with me tonight. Hallelujah. Let us exalt his name together. Come on. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Let's magnify him. Let's make him great. Let's make him greater than our problems. Let's make him greater than our situations. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Somebody ought to give him glory. Somebody ought to give him honor. Somebody ought to give him praise. For the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. I don't know about you tonight, but I've got a reason to give him glory. I've got a reason to give him praise. I, I got a reason to give him honor for the Lord. He is good. Hallelujah. So can we give him praise tonight? Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Come on, lift him up together. Hallelujah. Come on, let us magnify the Lord together. Come on, come on. Let us exalt his name together. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Whatever you got to say, whatever you got to do, come on, let's give him glory. Hallelujah. Come on, let's take a praise break. Hallelujah. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Just 60 seconds tonight. Come on. Give him glory. Come on. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Come on. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Let's put him first. Jesus, my Savior, my King, my Deliverer, praise maker, provider. My friend, come on, come on. What's your relationship got to say? Come on, do you remember what he did? Come on, can you tell your story? Come on, he's been good to me, and I can't keep it to myself. Everybody, clap, yo! Hey, come on, give him praise tonight. Come on, make your own praise break right in your house. Come on, have your own praise party. Right in your house, everybody give God glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, everybody give God praise. Glory to God. Come on, somebody give him glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise his name, glory to God. I just wanted you to just have a little praise break, hallelujah. I wanted you to praise him with me. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast of the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Praise. Make the choice tonight. A conscious choice. Get your mind right. Focus on him. Start thinking about him because you can't think about him without thanking him. I pray that you have been blessed. Glory to God. There's still a praise on the inside of me tonight. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. 
Glory, glory. Ay, Anadosa. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. There's still a praise. Hallelujah. I pray that you are feeling it right now. Somebody just shout glory with me. Hallelujah. Somebody just shout thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I thank you for saving me. I thank you for delivering me. You've been so good. You've been wonderful. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you for the spirit of praise. Thank you for the power of praise. Thank you for the power of worship, God. Continue, God, to help us realize and that our focus should be on you. God, continue to help us know that we've got to put you first, God. We've got to start with praise. We've got to start with worship. God, it sets the atmosphere. It gets us in the right mind, God. Let us make a choice to praise you. Just like David, we will bless you at all times. And your praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, God, we got a choice, but our choice is to praise you. Our, our choice is to magnify you. We make the choice tonight to praise you. We're in our right minds, God, because we know we think on you, God. We, we remember, we recount, we tell the story just how you did it for us, and we thank you tonight. God, let praise change our minds. Oh, mind this show. Oh, glory to God. Let praise change our minds tonight. Hallelujah. Ooh, let praise change my mind. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Let praise change your mind tonight. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for praise. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I thank you that my praise is going higher and I'm going deeper in worship. God, continue to reveal yourself to me. God, give me something else to praise you for. Give me something else to tell people about. Give me something else to testify about. Give me something else to proclaim about. Give me, show me a new sign so I can tell somebody. Hallelujah. Show me a new wonder so I can get somebody saved by telling just how good you are. God, perform another miracle so we can let people know that you are still. Heal a miracle worker. God, do it again. Oh, God, I praise you and I bless your name. God, I thank you for those who are watching tonight. God, I pray that you bless the work of their hands. Whatever, you, whatever they need, God, you provide it right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God. I honor you and I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. Glory to your name. It is so. It is well and it's already done. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody say amen, amen, and amen. Come on and give God glory. Come on and give God glory tonight. Come on and give God glory tonight. I pray that you have enjoyed this midweek worship experience. I pray that your praise is going to a, 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 a higher height and that your worship is going to a deeper level. Join us this Sunday morning. Hallelujah. Resurrection Sunday, Easter Sunday, God, as we join together, not in the sanctuary, but outside in our parking lot here at Cedar Creek Community Church, 121 to Drive, Columbia, South Carolina, at 1130, amen. It's a slight change in our worship time, just 30 minutes later, 1130 a.m., we will be outside worshiping our resurrected Savior. Hallelujah. Bring your praise, bring your chair, and bring your mask because we're going to have a good time in the Lord, but we're still going to be safe in Jesus' name. So I pray that you come, bring someone with you, bring your little one with you. We got something special for the kids. Amen. I praise you. We'll be singing, and I will be bringing the word, and I know God is going to meet us there. Amen. Because we're going to put him first. Hallelujah. We're making the choice. Make the choice on this Sunday. Don't stay home this Easter. When Easter wasn't like it was last year. We, 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 we're not back together as normal, but we can still, hallelujah, gather together outside safely and give you the praise, God. So we thank you, hallelujah, God, for giving us a chance to get together this way. It won't always be like this. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's one more praise. It won't always be like this. Hey, God's going to turn this thing around. It won't always be like this. We don't suffer enough. Some of us have suffered many deaths. Some of us have suffered financial hardships. Some of us have suffered trials and tribulations because of this COVID mess. But it won't always be like this. Glory to God. Woo! Glory to God. God's about to turn it around in our favor. It won't always be like this, church. Hallelujah. So join us this Sunday. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Join us this Sunday as we come together to praise our risen Savior. Because he's been good. Hallelujah. He's been so good. Hallelujah. I pray that you are blessed tonight. And I pray that you will join us each week for Bible study. And join us each week for our worship service. And from now until we can come back together, we'll have outside worship service 
as long as the weather permits. So please join us. Bring a friend, bring a friend for word, witness, and worship. I love you guys. See you Sunday at 1130 as we worship our resurrected Savior. Be blessed tonight.